Today we're going to look at summarising data. So when we're looking at a whole lot of different values that we've collected from surveying or uh, looking at data that we can that someone else has collected, we can use some values to give us an idea about the general uh, patterns in the data and the general ideas about the data. And that's why we can or how we summarise data. We get different pieces of information and it tells us a little bit about the data without us having to look at the whole lot of numbers. So the first piece of information that we can get is something called the range. So the range of a data set is the difference between the highest and lowest values. It looks at how far, how many different uh, possible values could there be between the highest number that we that we got in the data set and the lowest number. So we can just find that by subtracting the lowest value away from the highest value. So the range is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value. So if we've got a very small data set here, one, five, two, seven, and five, the range of this data set is the highest value minus the lowest value. The highest value is seven here, and the lowest value is one. So we take seven minus one, and that's six. So the range of this data set here is six. It tells us how wide the data set is, how, how much they're spread out. We can also get a what's called a representative value. You might have heard of it called an average before. So there are different averages that we can get, different representative numbers that say, this is pretty much the majority of the values that we got, or this is around about the, the average kind of um, value that we could expect from this whole data set. So the idea here for this first um, value called the mean, the mean of a data set is where we add up all of the numbers. So we sum all of the values together, we add them all up, and then we divide by how many numbers there are. This is probably more commonly what people think of when they hear the word average, but this specific average here is called the mean. So the mean is equal to, for our example here, if we add up, add up all of the numbers, add up 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 7 plus 5, we get 20. And there are five different values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we take all of the values, add them up, and divide by how many there, there are. So if we do that here, we get 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So the mean for this data set, the mean is 4. Another average that we can look at is something called the median. Now, median essentially means the middle. It's the middle number. Just like if you, um, when driving down the highway, the median strip in the highway is the strip of grass in between the two uh, different directions on the highway. So the median strip's in the middle. So when we're looking at um, the median here, it's the middle value. So we need to sort them and order them from lowest to highest and it is the middle value. So um, if I've got here one, two, five, five, seven, I've put them in order, so they're un not in order over here, but I've put them in order from lowest to highest, and the middle value here, if I go in from both sides, the middle value here is five, and the median for this data set is five. If we have two middle values though, so if we have two middle values, say I, I get another data point, I get another data point, and it's a three, okay? So I put them in order, and I get a three, okay? So my, I'm adding another number to my data set here, and now I would have two middle values, two middle values, three and five. So if I have those two middle values there, because I've got two in the middle, I can't say they're both the median, so what I do is I add them up and divide by two. So if I've got my two middle values here, three plus five, divide that by 2, and I get 8 divided by 2, 4. So in this case, if we had an extra number, if we had a 3 in this data set as well, then the median would be 4, not 5. The last average that we're going to look at is called the mode. Mode means the most common, and in French, a la mode means in the style of, okay, so in the fashion. So it's the most fashionable uh, score. It's the most fashionable score because it's the one that occurs the most often. So the mode is the most commonly occurring value. It's the one that occurs the most. It has the highest frequency. So for our original data set now, our 15275, 5 occurs twice, whereas 1, 2 and 7 uh, only occur once. So the mode for this data set is 5. 
Now, if I was to have two modes, if I was to have two modes here, so if I was to have another data point here and we've got one, so one occurs twice and five occurs twice, what we'd just say is we'd put a comma and we'd say they're both the mode. So this, what we'd then say is this data set is bimodal, as in there are two modes. And if you can, you can have even more modes, you can have three or four or five or six, and we'd say that's multimodal, multimodal. So the mode in our data set is the uh, value that has the highest frequency. That means it occurs the most frequently. So the frequency, if I, if I look at our original data set now, if I look at our original data set, so our original data set was just this, and we had a uh, mode of five, uh, the frequency of one occurring is once. It only occurs once in our data set. The frequency of two is once. It occurs once in our data set. The frequency of five is two. It occurs twice in our data set. And the frequency of seven is one as well. It occurs once in our data set. So let's look at an example now of the sort of thing that you'll need to be able to do. So if we get some data, we're going to need to be able to find uh, the different uh, summary, the summary values. So our summary values, range, mean, median and mode. So if we've got the ages of seven people that were surveyed, uh, 15, 31, 12, 47, 21, 65 and 12. We're being asked to find the range, mean, median and mode of the values. So finding that summarising summary, um, summarising values for the data. And we also need to see if another person is surveyed who is 29 years old, find the new median. So we're going to see how the median changes. So firstly, for our original data set here, we find the range. So the range is the highest value minus the lowest value. The highest value here is 65. The lowest is 12. It occurs twice, but that's still just the lowest number. The lowest number is 12. So if we do 65 minus 12, our range is 53. That means our range of ages that we're looking at is 53 years difference between the lowest and highest age. If we're looking for the mean, we need to sum all of the values together and divide by the number of values. So we know there are seven values here. Well, there are seven people surveyed, but we need to add up all their ages. 15 plus 31 plus 12 plus 47 plus 21 plus 65 plus 12, and that gives us 203. If we do 203 divided by 7, we get 29. So the mean is 29. For our median, what we need to do is we need to order our numbers from lowest to highest. So we've ordered them here from 12 to 65, the lowest number to the highest number here. Put them in order, um, and the middle value that we have here is 21, so the median is 21. The mode is the most commonly occurring number, and as far as our numbers go, everything has a frequency of 1 except for 12. So 12 has a frequency of 2, it's the most commonly occurring, so the mode is 12. Now for our second part here, we're being asked if we're surveying another person who's 29 years old, what is going to happen to the median? What's the new median going to be? If we input that value and put them in order now, so now we have eight values instead of seven, we put them in order there, 29 pops in here, and it means that we have two medians here, two or two middle values rather, two middle values. So we need to add these two numbers up and divide by two. So 21 plus 29 is 50, divided by two, 50 divided by two is 25.